Before I even start the white chocolate pound cake, I'm going to make the garnish. This is not necessarily part of the recipe, but I like to do it. I think it makes the cake really look pretty in the end. We're going to candy some pecans to put on top of the cake later on. There's no pecans in the cake, but like I said, I just happen to like to do it. You don't have to if you're doing this recipe. You can just leave it with the glaze on top or whatever else you want to come up with, but I'm going to show you how to do the pecans. I've got a quarter cup of light brown sugar and a tablespoon of water. My pan is, is heating. I'm going to put just a touch more. A, a pinch of cinnamon, if that, an eighth of a teaspoon, and just a pinch of salt. And now I want to melt this up and just make sure the sugar and the water are all combined. I'm going to just cook it for like a minute. And in my small bowl here, I have a dozen whole pecans. I don't know if I'm going to use all of them, but you know what? If you're making this, you might want to just make some extras because these are really good to munch on later on. Candied pecans, they're delicious. So just give this a minute. And that's pretty smooth. Get rid of that. I want to put my pecans in there. And now I'm going to just toss them in the syrup and I'm going to cook these on here for about two or three minutes. In the meantime, have ready some sort of a rack. This is just a, a rack I've had for years. You can use a regular drying rack or something and put it over a pan or some uh, aluminum uh, foil or wax paper or something to catch the drippings because these have to dry. This is why I'm making these even before I start the cake, because these have to, they're gonna be really sticky and gooey for about two or three hours. So uh, by the time the cake is done and frosted, these will be done. You can make these day before, two days before, three days before, just keep them in an airtight container at room temperature. And here we go, just leave it in there for about another minute or so. Like I said, these are really delicious. You can make this recipe doubles, triples, whatever you want to do. If you want to make an awful lot of pecans for like a party or something like that, they're really, really good. All right, it's coming to a boil. Just give it another 30 seconds or so. Just make sure they're all coated, so toss them around a lot. Turn my heat off. And then I'm just going to take my pecans off and I'm going to lay them on that sheet. I'm going to separate them. Don't let them stick together because they will stick together. They'll become permanently attached. Whoops, dropped one down. Get that up. And now just leave these at room temperature like this for like two or three hours. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna clean this mess up and then we'll come back and we'll start on the cake. So while our pecans are drying, we're gonna start making the cake. And the first thing we need is the white chocolate. I have four ounces of a very good white chocolate here. Please don't use those, um, I think they call them candy melts, but that's not gonna work and you your cake is not gonna taste as good. So what I have here is a small pot with some simmering water and a bowl over it, and I'm going to melt this white chocolate. I'm just going to break it up. You don't have to use a bar. You can use good quality uh, white chocolate chips, too, if you want to. But just make sure it's really good. If you get a chunk of chocolate, um, a good hint is use a serrated knife to cut it up into smaller pieces. It cuts up much better. So all I want to do here now is I just want to wait until this melts and becomes nice and smooth. So that's gonna take two or three minutes. All 
our white chocolate is melting very nicely. It's almost completely melted. I don't even need the heat on anymore because the residual heat in the pan will finish it off. I'm gonna remove it even though it's got a few chunks in it. Ah, whew, that's hot. Okay, here we go. And there, nice and smooth white chocolate. We're gonna put this aside, let it cool slightly, and we're gonna now proceed with the cake. So now let's get to the cake. Let me tell you about the ingredients first. I have six eggs at room temperature, two and a quarter cups of sugar, one cup of heavy whipping cream, uh, the melted chocolate, some salt, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of homemade vanilla, but you can use store-bought, two sticks of softened butter, one cup, and I have three cups of flour. I'm gonna add the baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt in there. Just give that a little mix around. Okay, now get our butter in the mixer. As you can see, it's, it is soft. And let's get that mixing. Now I'll gradually add the sugar. Now the eggs. We'll let that whip for about two or three minutes. I'm going to scrape down the paddle a little bit because some of the butter is stuck on there. I want it to get all mixed in well. And let's go for that two or three minutes. Okay, I'm going to take that down for a second. Give it another scrape. You can see some getting stuck over there again. And at this point, I'm going to add all of the white chocolate. Now I'm going to blend this in. I will gradually add the heavy cream. And then lastly, I will put in the flour.
Okay, that's been a few minutes. Now let's talk about the pan for a second. This is a 10 inch, 10 cup bunt pan. And bunt pans come in all kinds of shapes that you've seen lately, swirls and flowers and castles. Some of them are smaller than 10 cups. So if you have a, one of those fancy ones and you wanna bake it in there, you're not gonna be able to fit all of the mixture in. That's okay, you can always put it into a smaller pan or a cupcake and bake those separately. Just be aware of that, but this is a 10. So, I'll take this off. Scrape off my paddle. By the way, I love this paddle. It's got a, a, a rubber um, edge and it's really good because it gets way on the sides and on the bottom. You don't have to scrape down as often. So now let's get this into our pan. My oven is on at 300 degrees. And this cake, it's a pound cake and they are heavy and they bake a lot longer. So this is going to take anywhere from an hour and a quarter to an hour and a half to bake. And it does make nice little pound cakes too, if you want to do that. If you have some of those small little decorative pans. Or, like I said, you can just use muffin, uh, cupcake tins. Then after this bakes, this cake is going to cool in the pan for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'll turn it out on a wire rack out of the pan and let it cool completely. And when it's cool completely, then we can make a white chocolate glaze to go over. It's actually a ganache that will drizzle over the cake and then we'll decorate it with those wonderful pecans. So here we go. Like I said, my oven's on at 300. I like to kind of push it up to the sides a little bit so it bakes more evenly and it's not quite as domed in the center. And there we go. One and a quarter to one and one half hours until the toothpick inserted comes out clean. Here's the white chocolate pound cake out of the oven. I put it on a wire rack and it's been sitting here for about 15 minutes. I want to take it out of the pan now and put it on the rack and it's got to cool completely before I even try to attempt to um, frost this thing or glaze it. So I'm going to just turn it over. Pan is still pretty hot. And there we go, there's our white chocolate pound cake at least an hour, maybe two, at room temperature. And then I'll come back and we'll show you how to put the white chocolate topping and remember those pecans. Time to dress up our white chocolate pound cake. In a bowl, I have six ounces of good quality white chocolate bits. And I just heated a quarter of a cup of heavy cream till it was almost at the boiling point, but not quite. And I'm just gonna let it sit here for a, a moment and then I'm gonna whisk it until it gets nice and smooth and then we're gonna decorate our cake. As you can also see, here are those pecans that I glazed. I've got them just on the ready. They're still a little on the tacky side, but that's okay, they're fine. If you left them, that's why doing them maybe the day before is a better idea because this, I made these about two hours ago and they're still tacky. In about three or four hours, they would be just perfect and not tacky, but just great. All right, here we go. Our white chocolate is melting. Let me just really smooth it out. This is our glaze. Nice and drippy it's going to be all over this thing. I'm going to move this over closer to me so that I can see what I'm doing. You can see there's our glaze. Now to start dripping it. Just like 
to wait. And you can see I put some wax paper on the table to catch the drips. This will eventually set, but not quite, not that fast. Okay. Oh, I can just smell the white chocolate. It's wonderful. All right, now, while it's still wet, we're going to put some pecans on here and there. Just adds a little piece of jewelry to the cake, a little finish. And then those four for me to nibble on later. And now, just let the glaze set and you're ready to enjoy a white chocolate pound cake.